What's up everybody, Jason Boone here from premiumbeat.com. Today I want to show you some real world examples of applying audio track effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. Okay, so let's say we're working on a television documentary about the Mafia. And we've interviewed a subject here who's in the Witness Protection Program. So we've mosaiced out his face so we can't tell who he is. But now we need to add some audio effects to kind of mask his voice and make that unrecognizable as well. So let me show you this scene that we're going to work on here. My life was in danger. I knew I had to go to the police. Okay, now don't worry. This guy is not actually in the witness protection program, so it's okay. I'm not, I didn't just blow his cover, so everything's fine. <laughs> Okay, so let's get to work here and let me show you how we can do this with audio track effects. The first thing we want to do is bring up the audio track mixer. If you can't see it, go to Window, Audio Track Mixer. And now you'll see that all of these tracks correlate with our tracks here. On audio track one, we have the interview soundbite. On track two, we have a music clip. And on track three, we have our guncock sound effects. So to keep ourselves organized, I want to rename the track names up here in the track mixer. So track one is the interview, track two is music, and track three is sound effects. And now if you look down here in the timeline, you'll see that those, uh, those track names show up here as well. Now, to add a track effect, we need to go up here to the show and hide effects and sends drop down triangle here. So we'll click on that, and now you'll see here each track has different slots here. Now there are five slots for each track to add um, effects. So I'm going to go over here to the first slot and we'll go down and there's just a plethora of different effects we have to work with here. I'm going to go to time and pitch, pitch shifter. Now you'll see it show up here and we have a little knob here as well as some effects here. Now I'm going to grab this and essentially if I bring it up the pitch is going to go up, if I bring it down the pitch is going to go down. So we're going to kind of take this down. Let's have a listen. In danger, I knew I had to go to the police. My life was in danger, I knew I had to go. Okay, so let's go down a little further. My life was in danger, I knew I had to go to the police. Okay, that's good. Now, so we have our vocals set up there. If we wanted to add some more effects, again, we could add up to five different effects for this particular track. So what else could we do here? Well, we have music. So we could go over to our music and apply an effect to our music. So let's say we want to go down here and let's do some stereo expanding. So you can go down here and select stereo expander. And let's kind of do this on the fly. Let's have a listen. I'm going to solo our music track. Okay, so I'm going to take that to about 250. That sounds pretty good. It's so expanding out our stereo. And unsolo that. We'll have a listen now. My life was in danger. I knew I had to go to the police. Okay, that sounded pretty good. Now, for our last little sound bite here, or our sound effect, we have the gun cock. I don't want to make any changes to that. Now, if I wanted to make a change to this, it might be better to do it on a clip level. So I could go into my effects panel and grab an audio effect and apply it directly to that clip. You want to use track effects when you want to apply an effect to all of the clips on that track, which would really be good for an interview. So let's say I'm working on like a 30-minute doc here, and I have one track for all the sound bites from our guy who's in witness protection. So I could just apply the same pitch shifter, the one pitch shifter effect to this entire track and I wouldn't have to worry about it. All the changes would take place to that interview. I wouldn't have to go and apply that effect to each individual clip. So it's pretty great. But if you have a one-off sound bite or a sound effect that you want to make a change to, you could maybe do that better with on the clip level. So finally, I want to show you how you can go about editing some of these. So if you go down here in the timeline panel and you open this up, Let's say I want to have this stereo expand effect. I want it to be a little bit more narrow while our interview subject is talking. And then after he's finished, we want the stereo expander to kind of expand out. So if we go here to track two, I can select show keyframes. And you'll see here I can change from clip keyframes to our track. And I can change it to stereo expander. 
And now, if you have a listen on the fly. It's in danger. I knew I had to go to the police. So I could bring it all the way up, grab my pin tool, add some keyframes, and then have this fade up. And there you go. Go to the police. And there you have it. Audio track effects. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.